Righto, tell you other champs, and now you want to upgrade your XPS 15 and 17, I'm your man. We're going to do this the right way. Actually, seen some other, you know, upgrade videos where they linked you to 2066 RAM. No, that is no good. So check out the description, I'll link you to the right SSDs, the right RAM with the right speed. Also, in the description, you'll have Windows 10 Pro, you can get it for cheap. So check out the link in the description to get Windows Pro, because we can upgrade to Windows Pro. I'll show you how to do that. Make sure you use my discount code. You can also get Office there as well. Now, why do you do this? Well, if you've got a new SSD in there, well, probably your only choice, unless you clone your old hard drive. Also, if you even have Windows system, and you just want to wipe away that old factory image with all that McAfee, and all that junk on it and stuff like that and you want a clean signature PC this is the way to go this is how I run all my systems I'll get better battery life better reliability smoother performance it's just in every way I like it now you will be wiping away your factory image if you're installing on the same SSD you already have that's up to you whether you want to do it you still have recovery options but you won't have the factory recovery options but most manufacturers you'll be able to download the factory image at some point if you want and if you've got a new SSD and you're not cloning from your old one well the best thing is this advanced setup the you know nice clean windows setup it's going to be good so let's get stuck into it let's upgrade it first and then we'll get into the advanced installation method i know you're laughing if you're experienced at this but this is for more for newbies anyway let's do it all right so here we have it the xps 17 in the description i'll leave you links to tools you'll need you'll need a phillips screwdriver and you'll actually need a t5 torque screwdriver i'll leave links in the description to that and all you do is you take off the t5s off the bottom of the xps 15 or 17 I've already taken them off I think you know how to undo some screws and then what you have to do is just pry that sort of bottom bit apart I found that going at that little you know that little notch there where the light is to indicate battery I think that's the best place to pry it apart and in that place there you just get a credit card or something like that you know a card you don't really use that much and just pry it open and boom we are inside the xps 17 and there you can see the xps 17 you can see the two m.2 drives and these are the ram slots and this will be the same with the 15 maybe you know slightly different configuration or any other laptop for that matter just got to work out where the ssds are and where the um, ram is now you do want to disconnect the battery and it's so simple in the xps 17 you just pull that lever boom the battery's disconnected now i do recommend you do that because if you drop a screw on the motherboard it'll just you know short out the motherboard or do some damage so make sure you put that on after you're finished okay so for the ram it's really simple to upgrade you just have levers on either side of the ram you just disconnect those levers just pull them out you can do them both at once i'm doing the one hander style here because i'm filming and there you just pop it out just make note of where that notch is you do the same thing with the other piece of ram there so both sides then you just pull it out and yeah so we'll just set aside that ram and now we'll hook into the ssd so there's two screws on the ssd to um, undo and we have two m.2 drives here obviously you want to go to the number one so sata number one pci express number one and that's where your windows is installed on of course you can put two drives in these xps now you'll need the phillips driver here instead of the torque screw so just undo these uh, screws both of them just take off the heat sink and then you can gently take out the m.2 there and that works with anything like any laptop and yeah you might want to take that heat shield off then you get the new ssd and then you just put it back in make sure you know where that slot is there make sure the slot's the same way i'm using the same ssd but your new ssd you just put that in there and you'll see actually on the heat shield that it has a thermal pad and the thermal pad is stuck to the heat shield so just leave it there if it's not stuck to that and it's stuck to the ssd just take it off the old ssd and put it on the new ssd and, and if it's stuck to the heat shield just leave it there now you put that heat shield back on do those two screws it couldn't be easier right and now with the ram make sure you line up those notches properly put the new ram in put it in the slot make sure it goes in properly and then all you do is just push it down and those end levers will snap into place so Make sure it's in that slot properly, that notch is lined up and boom, just push it down and just make sure both of those levers are locked in there. And then you just repeat the process with the other stick. So it's simple as that. You've upgraded your system now. Now, obviously, you just want to put the bottom back on the laptop, screw them in and you're done. Now you've got to get a USB, 8 gigabyte USB stick. 
Now we're going to make a Windows installation. Just search for Windows 10 ISO and that will take you to Windows uh, Disk Image Utility here. And you create installation media with that tool there. And you just run that tool and you just take a note of what drive you have. Mine's a D drive, my USB. So just take note of that. And then you just go through the prompts. And this one, I would create installation media from a USB drive. Don't upgrade this PC now. So just check that. And then you select your language or whatever. You can use the same settings as what the PC you're doing this on. But I just go in manually and set 64-bit Windows 10 and to my region, United Kingdom, which we have to use in Australia because we get the correct English that way. And then, yeah, choose media to use. You don't want ISO. You want to install to a USB flash drive. Make sure that's checked. And next, you're done. That's it. It's just going to create media on that USB stick. Make sure there's nothing on it. It's going to wipe it. Now, in the meantime, you want to go to Dell's website, XPS 15, XPS 17, and we want to download some drivers, okay? Now, this is the thing, right? You'll see how many drivers there are here and utilities and stuff. And this is why I like doing this method because it's clean. I only download the stuff I want. So you can actually download the service manual there as well. So you can check on how to pull it apart. It shows you all the parts you need, everything like that. Take out the battery, everything. It teaches you how to do it properly by their you know, instructions, the method they recommend. So yeah, that's always a good resource. So what I do here in the driver section, I download Dell Update Manager, Dolby Vision driver, I download Dell Power Manager, and I just download the Wi-Fi driver just in case. So you might want to download that Wi-Fi driver, but you can go through here and you know download what you want. But you saw how much stuff was there. There was a load. So just you know, they're the things I want: Dell Update Manager and the Power Manager, and you know, pretty much good to go. Then we'll go to Nvidia's website, and of course, you have to select which graphics card you have, whether you have a 2060 or a 1650 Ti. You just go there. I installed a studio driver because it's more geared for, you know, content creation and stuff. You can install the game ready driver depending on what your laptop you have. And yes, once you have all those files, you download them, you can copy those files and then you can actually put it on that installation media drive, that USB stick you installed Windows on. You know, that should be ready now. That should all be done. And you just create a folder in there and name it something. I'm going to call it XPS 17. And I'm just going to dump those drivers I just downloaded in there. And yeah, just paste them in there. So once we finish installing Windows, we just install those drivers, do the Windows updates, and we're done. Okay, so we've got to have the USB plugged into the laptop. We restart it or turn it on and then we just spam that F12. Spam that F12. This is on XPS 15, 17. You'll have to check your manufacturer if it's something else. And then we get into this boot manager here and we just want to select the USB drive, which mine is a Toshiba. We select that. So we just use the drop arrows there or you can actually use the mouse and just select that and boom. Uh, it'll boot from the actual USB and now we want to select our region with Windows 10. Now it will activate automatically with your system. You've got to accept the terms etc. I'll show you how to do the Windows 10 upgrade. Now if you have a new SSD you just install it on the one SSD but if you have you know your normal drive in there and you just want to do this advanced installation method, we just delete everything there. All the partitions just delete, 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 and then there'll be one drive left, and then you just install on that. There'll be only one drive if you have a new SSD in there. Just install on that, and then you just follow the prompts. It's just like a new laptop. You just follow all those prompts. Then once we get back into Windows, the first thing I would install would be the NVIDIA driver. So you have that in your USB, the drive that you installed Windows on the actual laptop. You just go in there and that, that folder should be there. Now I would keep the Wi-Fi off until you've installed all that stuff you got from the Dell website and the NVIDIA driver. And then you just want to install all that software you downloaded from the Dell website. Install all that. And then what we want to do is actually update windows so we just search update so you just type in windows update and then just go check for update and install all the windows updates and then if you want to know how to activate windows you just type in activation it should already be activated but if you want to install windows pro you just go to change product key 
and then you just paste that key that you just bought from my description and yeah just paste that in and then you'll have Windows 10 Pro no problems there and after this is all done you should have device manager with no exclamation marks everything should be done so just update everything from Dell updater update everything from Windows update and you're done you're ready to rock with your ultimate advanced installation enjoy catch you next one guys tally ho